We've had an absolutely fantastic Ostmine conference. Over 1,200 delegates. We've had a world-class lineup of speakers and exhibitors who were part of this event. And I look forward to seeing you in 2021 in Perth. Warm greetings. My name is Juan Salcedo, a geographer engineer from the Geological Mining and Metallurgical Institute in Gemet in Peru. In this opportunity, I am going to present the exhibition on the Geological and Mining Cadastry Information System. GeoCadman. GeoCadman is a powerful tool that was developed by Ingemet in order to offer high quality information at a national and international levels. It is a free access downloadable system. A large amount of maps and data are available regarding mining topics. This information is integrated with the mining cadastry and geological maps. There is no need for a username or a password. Just access the Ingemet website in the GeoCatman option. This system is also characterized by having a large amount of information, more than 200 layers of data, which include 10,000 integrated, standardized and processed geological maps for free downloading. Additionally, it contains more than 18,000 technical reports, including records and bulletins. It also has data on geochemistry, geophysics, and more than 48,000 mining rights registered in the mining cadastral system. This is why this database is organized in an integrated geodatabase on a powerful platform that allows the development of more dynamic information on a web platform. GeoCadman allows general users to be able to display all the maps at a national level, diverse scales and areas of intervention. For instance, we can access the geological chart, mining rights, bulletins, technical reports, and also ask the title mining rights that Ingemet has granted in order to validate the geological information found in these studied areas. Ingemet also provides the entire national mining cadastry through a graphic and alphanumeric arrangement. The mining cadastry is shown in an orderly manner. It also contains images of spectral anomalies where oxidized in clays can be identified to recognize the mineral potential that can be found on the GeoCatman platform. These spectral anomalies allow us to know where the main minerals are concentrated on the Earth's surface in the national territory. In this case, we can relate this data to the geochemistry database. The geochemical samples that we have inventory are available for access in the geochemical information layer where the amount of samples and the type of sampling can be consulted by type of mineral in such area. In order to know the state of the situation of all mining projects, we can also access all the mines and exploration projects, which are evenly distributed nationwide. But that's not all. We also have topographic charts that allow us to know what is the formation's Earth structure, as well as the distribution, height, of all the national roads. That is why the topographic charts allow us to know in detail geographic position where all the mining rights are located. Likewise, geology is presented at different scales, 
It ranges from the national regional scale to the national scale at 100,000, at 50,000, and at the elaborated details along with the national distribution. Then we can interact with all the information layers of the satellite images, which are grouped in the GeoCatman platform. We have topographic databases and satellite imagery databases. Not only we do geology, mining and mining cadastry works, but also we identify natural resources. For example, we have geothermal resources that are also distributed in the south of Peru, with all the geological and geophysical studies that have been identified in the geothermal layer. We count with layers of artisanal mining, evenly distributed and located in each of the mining projects to identify the potential in this mining resource. The metallogenic belts also allow us to know which of the main metallogenic areas to identify the mineral resources distributed nationwide. This is the reason why the mining projects are explained. They are reflected in these metallogenic belts, which indicate the gold content, the potential in copper and silver resources. The cadastral map allows us to ask by geographical location and by coordinate. It also allows us to make the analysis and diagnosis of mining rights. For instance, having a coordinate will know in which claim is located, what areas are open to be able to do this spatial analysis. This tool allows the elaboration of thematic and location maps, as well as cadastral plans. Thus, it is possible to elaborate a location map of the study area and identify open areas in order to carry out the exploration and exploitation. There is no need to have a specialized software to knowledge. We have different layers where we can do a strategic planning, such an important tool for mining and exploitation in the case of investors who need to do this type of work. For example, identifying non-restricted areas and resources by type of mineral, downloading this information to make a more detailed analysis of this type of mineral, as well as going through the entire mining cadastry, mining them with geological maps, extrapolating with geochemical data and aeromagnetic data. In this regard, the system not only displays information, but it also integrates with Google Earth and other platforms. That is to say, it is interoperable and integrated system with various software and other platforms as well. This tool is not only an informational resource, we can also do 3D identification layers. That is why GeoCadman is displayed on a 3D level. This way, all the information can be analyzed at a three-dimensional level with the purpose of identifying geothermal resources, which are evenly distributed areas. We can also analyze geological hazards because we have access to 3D geological maps. Furthermore, GeoCadman allows us to identify areas of information. We can also apply machine learning techniques because with the data already processed, we can apply algorithms. So, with this tool, we can train the data and identify already trained targets to be, you know, able to make uh, predictions from mining, geological maps, for example, mining potential, and many techniques that can be identified by machine learning. The data is also openly distributed, so they can be reused in various platforms. Thus, the data already processed can be used for big data, volcanic monitoring, and the Antarctic geology data, which are distributed to do data analysis. GeoCatman is not only web-based, but it is also for cellular devices, 
where we can launch information through mobile applications. GeoCadman has been awarded several recognitions. We have more than 1.4 billion operations around the world for its large amount of information. This is why the GeoCadman platform becomes a powerful tool for exploration and research. We invite you to visit our GeoCadman tool. Thank you for your time. We've had an absolutely fantastic Ostmine conference. Over 1,200 delegates. We've had a world-class lineup of speakers and exhibitors who were part of this event. And I look forward to seeing you in 2021 in Perth.